On 10 September 1940, Governor Clyde Huey issued Executive Order 1, mobilizing all North Carolina elements of the 30th Division into active service of the United States Army for a period of 12 months. That 12 months would turn into five years. This is the Army, Mr. Jones. The 30th Division trained at Fort no Jackson, South Carolina, Camp Blanding, Florida, and Camp Atterbury, Indiana, you prior to movement overseas to Europe in February 1944. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the Great Crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home front have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. The 30th Infantry Division spent 282 days in combat and suffered 18,446 casualties. It never failed to accomplish its assigned mission. The citizen soldiers who made up the bulk of the 30th Infantry Division, Old Hickory, made it what it was. 70 years ago, these citizen soldiers liberated Europe and were the best in the European theater. They will never be forgotten by those of us who continue to serve today in their shadow.